Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog! Hello! So today we are off to Blenheim Palace which is a place that both of us have never been before. Yeah, well this is holiday from home! It is holiday from home! It started today, <laughs> so four days. We've both taken annual leave for four days and we're just going to spend four days together yeah. which we're actually really excited about because sometimes with our schedules we just end up not having many days off together, do we? Yeah. What's that? A passing in the night, what's that? Uh, ships. Oh, ships. ships. Passing in the night. <laughs> not trains. <laughs> um, but we're off to Blenheim Palace today, which we're very excited about. A lot has been filmed there. So over 71 things. 71. And Martin is a massive film buff. Mm. So it's going to be right up your street. Yeah. And then uh, I've written it's like the only non-royal uh, non place to still be called a palace. Yeah, so there should be quite a lot of history there as well. Um, it is a gorgeous day. It is sunny. I think it's getting up to like 25 degrees. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go. So we've arrived at Blenheim Palace. We are currently in quite a long queue <laughs> and I can see the cars, car park and it's quite full already. It is only 11 and it opened at half 10. Well, the park opened at nine and the palace opened at 10, at uh, half 10. So it's only been open half an hour. Yeah, oh, it's a little doggy. Um, so we decided to come on the last day of summer holidays, which could have been a bad idea. Um, <laughs> hopefully we'll still be able to get around and stuff. Oh yeah, the, the gardens look massive. Yeah. Um, we're thinking we might head to the palace first, um, but there is a lot of people coming in. So we booked our tickets online and they actually, so you buy a one day ticket, but it's actually an annual pass. Yeah. Um, so you can use it for the whole year. You can come back whenever you like. Um, so that's quite nice. We'll definitely have to try and come back at least once. Yeah, well, especially if we don't manage to get around everything today. I also think they do a Christmas trail light display. Oh, do they? So I don't know whether that counts as coming back, whether oh, that's a separate ticket. Um, but it'd be nice to come back at Christmas when it's all decorated. So we just parked yes. in the car park and we're heading in now. A little bit of a walk over to the palace entrance. Such a grand entrance. <laughs> there was the option to go like you could walk over to the walled gardens Garden. first, but we thought, yeah, we'll do the palace. We'll do the palace first. They know how to do their scaffolding. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> this is stunning. So that looks like a little cafe, the pantry. We'll probably end up getting some lunch here somewhere. They've got lots of little stools as well, like the coffee stool over Rolling there. At the oh yeah, it's huge, a lot bigger than I thought. Yeah. So we're here at the entrance to the palace. It is absolutely stunning. It's so much bigger than I thought. And we're definitely gonna do this, which is the lights, camera, action trail. And you just scan that QR code and then you have a trail which you can follow. Oh, Gulliver's Travels. So when we walked around here, I think I remember this from a scene in a James Bond film, Spectre, where I think like they're having a secret meeting here and then all the cars are like in this bit. I think, it's been a while since I've seen it. <laughs> so it also says, uh, the young Victoria, Gulliver's Travels, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, fan Dr. Doolittle and Queen Charlotte. Oh, Queen Charlotte, yeah. I recognise that. All uh, use the Great Court as a filming location. And I can see why. <laughs> so I downloaded the map onto my phone, but then there's also these uh, boards that I think actually show pictures. Oh yeah, James Bond Spectre. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's a car involved. <laughs> 2015. 2015. The palace is graced by none other than 007 himself. And then here it has the young Victoria, which I don't think I've, I've seen. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be in uh, a different country. I think it's supposed to be in Italy. And then what's this one? The young Victoria. No, I've never seen that. Emily Blunt. Oh, I got it wrong. It's not Doctor Doolittle, as in like um, <laughs> the Eddie Murphy films. It's uh, Doolittle, the one with Robert Downey Jr., where I apparently he did a questionable uh, accent. <laughs> but uh, he comes down the steps while riding an ostrich. So we're inside the palace, and you can actually download a free audio guide for as you go around. 
so connected to the free Wi-Fi and then you just select whichever room you're in and then there'll be an audio guide for it. On the 30th of November 1874, Sir Winston Churchill was born in this room. So on the guide it told us that these sofas are courting sofas, so the couple would sit on the long bit and then their chaperone would sit on this bit, make sure nothing was going on. Look at this clock. So this is the green writing room. And it's got a really large tapestry on the left here and this is the Battle of Blenheim which the palace is named after. So we got another board here, so this is Queen Charlotte. Oh, it was only in 2023. Bridgeton prequel. Ah. Oh, they've set out all these cakes and treats for us. <laughs> so I'm thinking these are costumes from Queen Charlotte. I need to finish watching it. I've only watched the first two episodes. So this is impressive. This was actually meant to be a picture room first, of portraits displayed, but then they changed it into a library. It contains 10,000 books. <laughs> Some of them are in Greek. <laughs> a lot of you won't know what I'm talking about when I reference this, but my grand uh, used to have, so when you uh, got VHS tapes that you could um, tape on, you could get these covers for the VHS tapes that looked like these old-fashioned books. My granddad had like quite a lot of them. So every time I see these style of books or the covers, I think of those VHS tapes. <laughs> so this room was decked out with uh, tables and chairs for a ball scene in Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. I haven't actually seen that one. I think I stopped with Mission Impossible 3. It's been tons since. <laughs> So we're out of the palace and then we just found another board. So Bollywood arrived at Blenheim when action thriller film oh. Fan came with a crew of 300. 2016. A dance sequence on the lawn. Helena's getting hangry. <laughs> so. There's only 12, I don't know why. <laughs> We've got the Stables Cafe. So it's here. Just as you, well, we've come out of the palace and then just walked around the corner. Helena's picked up a Coca-Cola and a <laughs> yeah. sponge cake. It's good actually. We decided just to get Helena a little snack. A little first, snack. And then we'll uh, have a little wander around and see what else is on offer. <laughs> I'm like a, an animal. Needs <laughs> a little snack. <laughs> but yeah, now we're off on our little explore. I'm looking forward to seeing all the gardens. And then there's a sign here Paddle Sports at the Palace. Come and enjoy some time on the Great Lake today. Wow, this looks stunning. If you've been with the channel a while, you'll know I love a water feature. Martin's true love. <laughs> My hair fever's gone wild. Apologies if I sneeze. Too much greenery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh I like this. There. We saw this from inside. And Thank then you. this is where we thought you'd also be able to get food, but I think it's just a stall. Go and have a look. That is stunning. Yeah, I like that. It's just the perfect day for exploring all the grounds, isn't it? I'm glad it's like this weather. I'd say there's definitely more garden and grounds than the actual palace. Yeah. There's a, also there's a Churchill exhibit though. Yes. Uh, that's inside. 
so we'll do that before hours we leave. hours and hours out here yeah. just sitting in it and enjoying it. Well, it looks like it's huge. going into this pretty rose garden all different colors different types of roses Got red pink yellow white very pretty oh I can see from this sundial that it is 12.50 <laughs> really? Was that from your iPhone? <laughs> well, hang on, where's the... 12. Oh, I don't know. Who knows how to read a sundown? <laughs> <laughs> These are interesting. These are creepy. What is it? It looks like uh, Pegasus. Pegasus, but with a human, a human head. Face. Looks like Hercules and Pegasus together. <laughs> What I would say is don't do what we've done. I would say have your food we've first. We've done some unnecessary steps. <laughs> have your food first and then go on the walks. Explore. <laughs> we were getting a bit like deep into the garden and we were like, this is going to take a few hours. Yeah. Like. <laughs> and we got a reservation later for Sunday dinner. So we don't want to eat too late. <laughs> so we're going to cut through, we're going to go through the Churchill exhibit. And then I think that'll lead us out the front. And then we're going to check out there was a Another restaurant or a cafe that was at, right at the front of Blenheim Palace. They do sandwiches. Yeah. Cut from his head when he was five years old. That was a good little that was a good one. Uh, exhibit. Good little exhibition. They utilised the space well because there wasn't loads of space, but and how they like set it all out was actually yeah. quite interesting, and it was uh, really well designed. And they tried to like theme the different sets that were around yeah. uh, to do with the period that they were talking about. Yeah, I thought that was really good. Not long. You can sort of just nip in there mm. in ten minutes. Um, yeah, it's really good. We're at the Oxfordshire Pantry. This looks more hopeful for. Us. Picked up a couple of tuna and sweet corn baguettes and a pack of crisps. Just gonna have our lunch on the grass. It wasn't a relaxing picnic. We keep getting attacked by wasps. A lot of wasps here. <laughs> <laughs> well, like they haven't actually stung us, but they just keep hovering. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're heading down towards this bridge, which actually features in the live action Cinderella. Oh yeah, which is one of my favorite live actions. So if you do bring a picnic or you get food from the place, you can just like come out and sit on any bit of grass, really. Lots of places to chill. So yes, there's filming locations here and there is even a filming location from a Harry Potter film. Harry Potter. <laughs> oh no, which one is it? Order of the Phoenix. Order of the Phoenix. So we're heading there now. Bird watching at Blenheim. Blenheim? Red Kites Robin's Kestrels. Do you know where we haven't been this year? And it just reminded me of Warwick Castle with the um, bird show. We've we not been at all this we year? Been to, no, we went low last year. We haven't been this year at all. No, no, I don't think we have. Yeah. No. But they do a great bird show. I don't know, that just reminds me. You see any Red Kites Robin's or Kestrels? Red Kites Robin's Kestrels, oh my. So this is the bridge says that it was used in Cinderella. Oh, I imagine so, because does it does it film going up that way with well, that in the background? I was about to say, it would make sense if it was when they go into the ball mm. in the carriage, but I might be wrong. I have to watch. Yeah. Please be careful. I think this is the only route down here. <laughs> it looks steep. <laughs> I've got my walker boots on. Hopefully they'll help me out. 
That's your really safe, you know. <laughs> I thought you were running it. Oh no, you can't go around. Oh, there you can go around. <laughs> you got to do this, haven't you? This that was a mistake. Time. The crab. <laughs> I feel like a sheep. They're the ones that can stand on hills, can't they? Oh yeah, they can, they can stand anywhere. Do you recognise it? The Harry Potter tree. The cedar of Lebanon tree is one of the most iconic features within this World Heritage Site. Known as the Harry Potter tree because of its use in a scene in the 2007 film Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. It is a strange looking tree. Tell why they decided to use it. <laughs> Looks like it's just got like this mind of its own. It doesn't match. Like a creature. They've set up like these precautions, I think, to make sure it doesn't uh, fall over. It's like attached to the other trees. Uh, they're like, no, not this tree. Yeah. I love it when you find filming locations because, like, now when we watch that scene. Yeah. Although, like, some might say it takes you out of the magic, it sort of adds a bit to it because, like, you watch that scene, you're like, oh, I've I, been there. I know, like, like, I know what's around it. And... We've done quite a few <laughs> Harry Potter. Um, filming locations because I think it's on the channel when we went to Oxford we saw loads because oh, yeah. a lot was filmed around this area yeah and there's loads in Oxford um so yeah I feel like and then we've obviously done the Warner Brothers studio tour yeah so we've been lucky enough to see quite a lot of Harry Potter yeah the only, the only place we didn't do in uh, Oxford was the Bodleian Library oh Is yeah what it was called? we'll have to go back and do that oh and we've done Annick Castle as well yeah we oh, haven't been inside I checked when that was you know Oh. Five years ago. Yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was trying to get a nice scenic shot and then it's just Martin running from a horse. <laughs> Insta versus reality. <laughs> You're right there. <laughs> We're now heading on the lake walk. 35 minutes it says. Yeah. How long does it say it is? And then we're going to finish off by... 0.75 miles. We're going to finish off by doing that one that we were doing before, but then we stopped halfway. We'll go to the walled garden. Yeah. And the maze, I think there's a maze. Yeah. There's so much here. There is. You can definitely spend a full day here, if it's nice weather. We've got the hut here, this is for hiring the water sports. I think you see some people in the rowing boats and on the paddle boards. Swans! Aww. Do you love seeing swans? Like reminds me, swans of Windsor. Reminds me of when we them? lived in Windsor and I used to go and visit the swans. <laughs> Crazy swan man. <laughs> Having a little sit down by the fountain. That was a walk! <laughs> We've made it to the walled garden. There's the wall. There's the walls. <laughs> Featured in Inspector Morse, apparently. The wall. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We're inside the walls. Our gardens cover eight acres enclosed within the brick walls that are 14 feet high. So no one can come and steal our tomatoes. <laughs> So over there, you've got a maze as well that you can do. What's Helmer's rule of mazes? Always keep, well, to the left or the right, you just follow. Well, what? It's, it's, <laughs> you basically just stay to the edge because you'll always make it out. Oh, okay. But that is not the most fun way. The most fun <laughs> way is just to go whatever way you want. But if you're actually stuck in a maze and you need to get out, just follow the uh, I thought it would stay the to the left, but you've changed that now. Well, it'll work both ways. Oh, we saw everyone with ice creams. So what did we end up getting? An ice cream. <laughs> Honeycomb. And I went for mint. Really nice. So we found the car and then we are heading back to our Airbnb. <laughs> our house. <laughs> what an Airbnb this is. I mean, they had gusto, 
waiting outside the front cool. door. Yeah, that was lovely. I mean, yeah, and even had our name on it and everything. I know. <laughs> In case nobody has a clue what's going on, we decided <laughs> we decided instead of going away for our holidays, we were going to holiday at home. So we're treating the house as if it's like an Airbnb. It's not very tidy for an Airbnb. No, it's not. We're not going to leave a very uh, very good review, are we? But actually, we won't be having uh, any of the gusto tonight. That is how you say it, isn't it? I say gusto, gusto, but I think it's gusto. It's gusto when it's on all the adverts. I say uh, gusto. We're not. Yeah, gusto. What do I no. say? Gusto. Gusto, normally. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're not having that tonight. We've actually booked to go to a pub for a Sunday oh, I'm lunch. Excited. So, we got that at seven. So, we're having a little bit of time at home. And then we're going to head out for that. Oi. Oh, yeah. What are you doing, pigeon? Pigeon's having a holiday at home, too. So I've just finished playing a little bit of Hogwarts Legacy, still really loving it and we're just about to head out for Sunday Roast. I'm very excited. I'm very tired. I feel like the um, sun today just wiped me out. Um, we were like, we're going to fall asleep in the gravy. <laughs> um, but we are very much looking forward to a nice Sunday lunch. Did you say we got a phone call? Oh yeah, we got a phone call saying we've run out of roast beef. Which it's is nice, crazy. I suppose. It was nice that they gave that call because I imagine some people turned up being a bit disappointed. Yeah. But also crazy that they run out of roast beef. <laughs> <one day. laughs> um, but yeah, it's nice that Blenheim they, they like um, pre warned you. <laughs> Did you say? Uh, yeah, we love Blenheim. Yeah. I was saying that the sun, though, has wiped oh, me out. Oh, no, yeah. And, but we did lots of walking. We did. I'm up to 15,000. Yeah. So, uh, it was really lovely, and I think like the weather as well made it. Like walking around those gardens was beautiful. Yeah. I think because of the wasps, we didn't sit still for <laughs> yeah. too long. There's a lot of wasps there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's go get some food. <laughs> I just thought I'd get one pint of the house lager and then an old mount cider. cider. It's mount, isn't it? No. Yeah, I always say mount. <laughs> Boat? Well, I'm not sure. M-O-U-T. There's no M. There's no Sunday lunches. No. They ran out. have fish and chips, which is a complete palate change. Yeah, but that'll be nice. It will be nice. I'm having pie. I don't want to be a pie. <laughs> So I've gone for the pie with some onion rings and there's the fish and chips. <laughs> Triple chocolate brownie to share. Ooh. <laughs> so we're back. That was lovely, wasn't it? I am stuffed. I am. I think we're just going to have a, maybe a hot drink. I might have a, a um, pucker. Oh yeah. A pucker tea. Uh, probably watch Below Deck. It just doesn't feel right if we no, have a night. No, it doesn't. We, we don't watch <laughs> So again, they'll probably watch that and then we'll probably head off to bed. But I hope you enjoyed the first vlog of our holiday from home. There's going to be three more vlogs, <laughs> we think. And tomorrow is actually a really exciting vlog. We're heading into London. Uh -huh. We've got a couple of exciting things planned. And then uh, what we've done is on Today Ticks, you can play Theatre Roulette. So you pay <laughs> £25 and you find out on the day what theatre show you're going to go see. Um, we clicked a musical, so we know it's going to be a musical. Yeah. But yeah, we have no idea. So that will we be in the know. next vlog. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, very excited for that. So tune in um, next time for that vlog. But thanks so much for watching this one and we will see you soon. Yeah, if you like this one, hit the like button and also subscribe. Bye. Toodle, Pipsky. I'll be alive.